Hey guys, welcome to the second part of this tutorial deal or no deal box and uh, this is the result we came up with in the first part and this is about how we want to have it look like in the end. So let's continue. Alright, this is where we left off in the last tutorial and uh, we want to add some detail to this um, box thingy now. First of all we want to distinguish the top part from the bottom part and we are gonna do this simply by drawing a black line to define the shape. Now create a new layer, make sure your brush tool is set to 3 pixel size with a hard brush and then you want to go to your pen tool and just define um, the lines like so remember you can press control and just drag the drag a point around until these lines are parallel and then you're gonna create the next point and adjust it just like this once you're happy with your result you're gonna right click the path and choose stroke path and make sure your brush tool is selected and hit OK and you can hit enter to get rid of the path and uh, you can um, uh, select the eraser tool to correct some mistakes you made if you like this alright now you wanna go uh, to your blending options for this layer and you wanna choose bevel and embars and what we're gonna do now is we uh, choose a depth of, of around 140 size of about 2 pixels and most importantly the glass contour needs to be set to this um, cone inverted this one and as you can see the line um, seem, appears to be going inside now which um, gives this realistic feeling. Now, um, if you have different size of your uh, cube, um, you just play around with the settings until you come up with uh, something uh, something nice. Okay, then you want to hit OK, and um, that's that for now. What you want to do now is you, you're gonna um, add the number to the box as you can see on our reference image here and for convenience I'm just gonna grab this one here with my selection tool and my uh, nice selection make sure you're on the correct layer and hit control C to copy go back to your top layer and deselect first and hit control V to paste now you're gonna drag this down and resize it a little bit and now comes um, a little tricky part is to you know add some perspective so it fits on our front here so we're gonna right click it and choose perspective and we wanna bring and bring the side here up just drag it down and bring it up just so that it is parallel to the um, sides here and this is maybe a little bit too big so we want to transform this in and center it something like this yeah it could be better really but uh, for the sake of this tutorial it will do now uh, we're gonna um, add this feature to the box also you can uh, draw this by yourself but I'm just gonna grab this one here like so
uh, all the way around and try to get as much detail in as possible. Now my reference image is not perfect for this. But anyway, make a selection, hit Control C. Again, make sure you're on the correct layer, Control C. Go back to your top, Control V. And drag it down to where you want it. And uh, you see the difference of colors, but we're gonna correct this in a bit. Now, um, again, hit Control T, right click, and choose perspective. Mm. Yeah. And you want to bring this up just so it fits nicely into the image, into the perspective. Want to hit OK. Now um, we want to make this uh, stick up a little bit more so we'll have it uh, drop a shadow. So what I'm going to do is uh, right click the layer and choose blending options. Then you want to go to your drop shadow. Now um, we will be choosing pixel size of about um, distance about two pixels I guess and the spread about eight and the size is maybe six just like so yeah play with your settings so the uh, 3d effect looks the best in your image when I hit OK sorry guys uh, the cam stopped for some reason and you missed a few steps what you missed is not very much, but I'm going to tell you. Um, we're at the moment on the layer of this feature. And what I did is I added another blending option, which is a color overlay. And I chose a color um, of the reference image or uh, my box itself. And I set the opacity down to 50%. Uh, so just choose something so that the uh, other colors won't disturb so much anymore. And hit OK. What I also did is I went back to my 14th layer. And what I did is I selected my Magic Wand tool and I grabbed. I grabbed all of this white part, including the inside of the four. Then I went to my gradient tool and I chose a nice uh, yellow, yellow whitish color like this and white for the other. And then I just made this gradient here, like so. Then I went back and I picked. Uh, the number and went to image adjustments and hue and saturation and I uh, brought down the lightness to about minus 70 uh, just so the uh, the numbers would appear in a more black uh, way and in okay and that's it uh, now we are even again what I did now is uh, create a new layer and on this layer I went to my pen tool and now we're gonna um, create a selection by clicking on all the edges on all the corners here once we're done right click inside make selection hit OK and what you want to do is you're going to go to filter. Oh, make sure your colors are reset to default, which is uh, hitting the D key. Now you can go to filter, render clouds. And you want to get a nice little clouds effect. And bring down the opacity to about 50% or to something that 
just covers the box slightly. Uh, well, don't forget, I forgot this, the blending method needs to be set to soft light and uh, you can bring down the opacity all the way. Now you can uh, hit Control F to um, regenerate the clouds effect and just choose something that is nice or that you like. Once that's done you can deselect and what you can do now is um, with your top layer selected scroll all the way down and leave out the reference image but shift click at the next layer then you want to hit Control T and resize it so it will fit into our canvas like this okay you can create on top of the reference image another layer and you can hit alt backspace to fill it with black so now you have uh, this image prepared for use or you have learned a technique to do such kind of things I hope this tutorial helped if you liked it please rate comment and subscribe and request more tutorials and see you next time bye